So, like we mentioned earlier, we are now back from church. Yes. And we've been going to a certain church for the last year. It's called Victoria Lighthouse Church. Oh, yes. So, I just want to get your input. What? How do you feel? What do you think and how do you feel? Uh, we have been to uh, two main churches in Calgary before. Mm-hmm. And... Um, then the whole pandemic hit and there wasn't much church going on when we came here. Yep. Uh, we did go to some in Souk when we were living on the sailboat. But now that we're here in Victoria, we have been going to this one. It's called Victoria Lighthouse Church. Yeah. So how do you feel? Uh, yeah, well... How has your experience been so far? Every time I go to a new church, I'm always doing the, the scan to make sure I'm not in a cult <laughs> coming from our past. I want to make sure it's it's normal. If that makes sense. Making I, I have a list, an internal list, and we usually ask the pastors all these questions from the get go, and they're kind of like, mm, but they always answer them. So, yeah. So we do that, and then uh, so they pass the test. I think there was one thing that kind of gave me PTSD, but it wasn't necessarily like a, a thing that was on the list. It was more just something I have to work through. If that makes sense. But uh, no, it seems like I like that theology seems very biblically based. Like, like it's following what the Bible saying. It's not some person's. I mean, we all have our perception, but I mean, it's not someone's like personal book that they wrote their idea of the Bible. It's like we're just reading from the Bible. So I like that it keeps it safe because you're just going by what's accurate. Um, but I also like that it's pretty casual. We're in a movie theater. It's not like a, even though I like, I think traditional churches are beautiful. It doesn't feel very stiff. Like you can come and dress kind of however you want. Most people dress nice, but still it's not like it's casual. And I like that it's very, like, there's a lot going on. We got, like, the worship music, and then you got, like, we usually do communion. And I also like that there's, like, the speech and everything. There's a few interviews, marks, and, you know, testimonies. But it's very short. Like, you have a lot, but it's not dragging on for hours. So it's, like, the perfect, like, not the, I don't know. It just feels like it's, like, it feels good. It was, like, a good time. And everyone's really nice there. Um, there's a lot of different ages. And, um, yeah, we've made some nice friends. So, so far, we like it. And uh, so there's also something that we tend to do on Tuesdays. Oh, yes. Um, we tend to go to a family's house for dinner. And we also study uh, um, a few verses. Um, right now we're just um, studying in First John. Yeah. So I think we've been going here for what, like the last maybe two months? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So how's, how's it been? It's good. Looks like it's going to end uh sometime this month and at christmas yeah everyone's really nice in the group that we go to it's like a family with four kids and yeah they're really nice like kind of like our age maybe a little older than me more like your age yeah um but everyone's really nice and uh i got to know the kids pretty well and uh i think they like us too yeah they seem to really like you and, and you but yeah they're just funny and uh, yeah, it's nice it's good to like i think i think your walk with like God is even more stronger when you do it with people, but I think it's more in group settings like that than more than going to a church. Because church, you learn a lot, right? Like more theology, I should say, and it's really nice. But you're not really like talking like one on one and like really involving each other's lives together. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to like do both, but like really have those like small groups, they call them, where you get together once a week or how often you want, twice a week, once a month, whatever you want. And you just hang out, have a meal together, we have a dinner. Most of the time spent is eating and <laughs> very small is a biblical part, but you get to like talk about your week and what's like, what you're struggling with, what you need prayer for, you read the Bible, you kind of share your thoughts about what that verse is. Maybe you sometimes disagree about that verse, sometimes you agree with that verse, but it's like a more of a, like an encouragement and it's also, you can grow more, I think, in your faith that way. Um, so it's good. I don't, I don't think Jehovah's Witnesses did that. I think they did it in the sense of like Bible, like, you know, book study. But it's definitely not the same. It's the, the concept might be there, but they're not, it's not, it's just like another kingdom hall at someone's home. It's not really like sitting and gathering and being like a family. Does that make sense? Yeah. You still have to go and you have to like prepare and like have the right answer and like, I don't know. Yeah, I think, um, mm -hmm. I think, uh, like you said, I mean, the, like the going to church is really good mm -hmm. because you, you learn things that you didn't learn before. Yeah. Um, and also, I think it's good because you're constantly in a form of, of um, like in day-to-day -day life, you're constantly living in, in a world that 
cares less and less about God. Yeah. And I guess it's good to come together to um, just like to to kind of like remind ourselves of who God is and what Jesus has done and mm -hmm. why we need him. But yeah. I think also when it comes to this home uh, Bible group thing, um, that I guess it's kind of common um, amongst Christian uh, places around the world. Um, I think it's very important because in these ones you grow yeah. as a person in them. Well, they challenge you too. You yeah, you're no... you're challenged in the form of you like we we keep each other accountable yeah like there's no shame in like Ugh, you did that this week you're just so bad like we need to go and tell the elders about whatever but it's more like oh yeah like okay well you're struggling with that let's pray about it or like let's i'll tell you how i got over that or you know what i mean it's a safe space to be vulnerable and like be honest because everyone goes through something everyone makes mistakes and that that persona of like we all have to look perfect or don't tell anybody your mistakes that is so toxic like no one's gonna grow in an environment like that how do you grow I you don't grow you don't change that's probably been one of the harder things as a uh, Jehovah's Witness um, where people don't really talk about their um, their problems in depth yeah you know they don't really talk much about their um, mental health problems um, life problems marital problems family problems yeah and here um, I feel like we can be fully open and honest because because everyone um, shares everyone else mm -hmm. shares and everyone yeah. else knows that nobody is perfect and no one's trying to be perfect no. and when you're not trying to be perfect you could just be calm and not be so uptight and yeah just also, um, I was grow with other people listen to like a, i don't know it was a sermon or something but they were saying that um we one of the goals of being a christian is to be more like jesus but if you think about it jesus is perfect and everything he does is perfect so how does a human be like that when like we literally can't do it on our own like we fail yeah and i'm thinking of like really big religions that try to do everything like they they have what the bible says and and they think but they for some reason they just you're not seeing it in the church you're not seeing it in their community of people being like that or you're like why can't i be like this and I think it's because the importance is you have to be spirit led or spirit filled, meaning like God is with you, God is in you, and He is anything that you do that's good is basically because He's helping you do it. Yeah. He He's like your source to be able to do this. So without it, you can't do it. And so you see all these like, like even in our past, it's like I feel like everyone's preaching, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do. But like you actually see more of the don't what people are not supposed to do. They're doing it in secret, and they're not actually doing the good anyways even though they're pretending like we're perfect because there is no God in there. So you're doing it from your own, but we can't. We're humans and we fail. And then you're stressed because you have to pretend like you're perfect on stage. But you know you're actually like a horrible person. But no one talks about it. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's very interesting. You need yeah. God to help you. Only God can give you what it takes to forgive someone who hurts you. Only God can help you to pause before you say something or want to do something nice for someone who will never do it back for you. The only way you can do any of those things is if God is doing that with you. Right. Right? Like, why would... Your natural human is not going to want to go buy that person a cake who's never going to talk to you ever again. You kind of be like, well, if I give them something, what will they give me? That's human nature. Mm hmm So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And, um, and I just also want to mention that uh, we also have other friends that we hang out with. Yes. Um, other friends and other uh, families that we hang out with and... It's been of a huge um, blessing for us in our lives, mm -hmm. um, and they're they're not people that go to this church that we're mm -hmm. going to, um, but nonetheless, I mean, they've been massively instrumental in our growth mm -hmm. and um, in helping us to stabilize. Um, from yeah. the time we came to this island, and it kind of like helped us. Um, be more planted down and to have more of a foundation of like structure more better structure and just um to be more mature <laughs> i don't think we'll always be a little immature we'll always be a little i have, immature, a, I have a sick but... humor but you know <laughs> that's okay but like yeah like when like being able to do things hello to Catherine and josh hi Catherine and josh you like my humor <laughs> <laughs> but yes i do have to work on my humor a little bit but it's hard because it's funny 
Um, but um, yeah, like I think just things that like, you, like structure, like things that maybe we didn't learn from our parents or maybe we just didn't have in our life tool belt. And I think you need them and it shows in your life and you don't have them. So I think it's good to have people who are maybe more wise than you or maybe he didn't have as much trauma as you or just different insights that they can give you more, like almost like mentorship. It's very important, right? So I think you really benefited from having a guy that you kind of look up to because I think men who don't have a strong man figure in their life can kind of struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm also watching people, right? I'm, I'm watching, watching their fathers and seeing how they do things, what they do. And uh, I feel personally that it's a good example for me to follow. Yeah. So I think that's all we got to say. But yeah, we're... Uh... There's no date specifically on when we're going to be doing the IVF. I don't think I'm going to probably say the dates of these things because I don't want the pressure. I don't really want people knowing, like, the, you know what I'm trying to say? But we will keep you up to date with how things are going or like when big, big things are happening, of course, because we want to share that. But I'm a very anxious type of person, so the least amount of anxiety things on my plate is better. So I've seen some people who do these fertility things online and they, and they keep people up to date by the day. I, I could never like the knowing yeah. that someone's waiting for you to tell them if you got a positive pre I cannot do that that's horrible great for them but I can't do it so I like to be a little out of like these videos might not be like in real life time frame but in 2023 I'll say that is the goal IVF pray for us <laughs> bye guys <laughs> okay bye oh he's still here this is my necklace <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, okay, the red light is still on. <laughs> when I go like this, that's a bit of rage coming out. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, I'm not wearing pants, so I need to stand up. <laughs> I was gonna see him doing laundry. How zoomed in are you? What if I like, in my nose? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Oh, okay, goodbye.